All right, Health Heroes. Hello, Health Heroes. How are you today? We've got some fun things for you. Of course, we always have a giveaway in this 30, uh, 30 minute, not 30 second broadcast. You can always fast forward. You can rewind while you're watching live. You can't fast forward, but you can rewind. You can change the speed because we have a lot going on today. Of course, in addition to our giveaways, we will be cooking something simple. And we're going to talk about the fall flavors. Uh, so this way we can get some delicious holidays going. But what about hypernourishment? We are definitely going to be talking about that. What is hypernourishment? Uh, Dr. Brooke Goldner, Dr. Brooke Goldner, yes, she coined that term hypernourishment. I was doing hypernourishment before I knew about this term. So, hey, uh, all I can say is that good morning. If it it's morning for you, because Share With Love TV, old, one of our favorite Nigerians. Y'all know I'm Nigerian today. Let me get my pearls out because the Nigerians are fancy. So you can't just show up any kind of way as a Nigerian. So thank you so much for being here today, Share With Love. Now, remember, if you are walk watching on the replay, you want to put in hashtag health heroes. Uh, this way we'll know that you were here. We'll, we can appreciate you and thank you for being here and all of those good things. Some of you are already hypernourished. People like this Jamaican, the island gal, Lash's journey. But for today, we're going to be showing you some things. Y'all, I can't get my pearls straight. I'm, I'm messing my pearls up. The Jamaicans are kind of fancy too. Y'all know uh, Lash's journey is uh, cute in the face, slim in the waist. And I got to look good for all these people that are here. Let's get to cooking because G Albert has already put in the wrong hashtag, Superfood Parents. But thank you for shouting out Superfood Parents because every one of you can be a health hero for your loved one. Every, you, every one of you can be a superfood parent with today's dishes that we're creating, some simple pinwheels. So that means if you're watching all the way from Romania, like Tati, you can definitely put in hashtag health heroes. You can definitely be a winner. And of course, today we're going to cook. We're going to get into the news. We're going to tell you how you can really make those holidays special because the holidays are always coming up, right? So I will be sending G Albert some information. Y'all know health, business, and wealth, right? That was our original focus. Right now, we're hyper-focused on hyper-nourishment and nutritional education. However, business and wealth is still one of my favorite topics, which means I will be adding that segment back to the show because as you see, G. Albert is asking, Laquita, later after today's live stream, can you send me the information that you use to create and manage a web page? You all know that I've shown on this channel quite a few different things uh, from Google Sites because the Superfood Parents website is a Google site. So that means if you're looking at it uh, right now, uh, the Superfood Parents is scrolling at the bottom of the screen, right along with, uh, you know, superfoodparents.com is super easy there. So you can see it there. But if you head on over to Superfood Parents, you may or may not know that this is a Google website. I tried to make it as dynamic as possible, right? Uh, we've got all the different pages, we've got sub pages. So this way you can go, you know, anywhere. And right away, we have a banner at the top. So if you want discounts on your herbs and spices, you can get those. Uh, Y'all, today we're making pinwheels and we are going to make some hyper nourishing pinwheels. Of course, you can uh, join the mailing list right there on our website. This is obviously a Google form for those of you that are familiar with Google forms. I use those a lot to collect information because I see a lot of the big industries still use Google Forms. Of course, on our website, you can find where the broadcasts are, what's happening. And today, of course, is a three top holiday hacks. So one of the first ones is hyper nourishment. So let's get back into what hyper nourishment is, how we're going to get it in there, because Lash's Journey says we love it all, all the topics, right? Uh, that means that for today's pinwheels, I'm talking about nutrition on this part, but you know, I've always got to get in the money-making part because we can't live without the money-making uh, stuff, right? Just like G. Albert is a tech person, he cannot go to a live stream without helping you with a tech tip. Like he explained that, you know, the live stream started about 20 to 30 seconds after I started the real live. That means for you all watching on the replay, you do not notice a lag or any latency. You know, that's the technical term, latency. But for other people like G. Albert, if you're watching live, you will notice that latency. So forget the latency, y'all. Hypernourishment is here for you today. That means with these pinwheels, we are going to be using something that uh, I've made. And these are kind of like leftovers. Remember, I showed you all 
we still have some left. These cute little pancakes, right? The 24 karat pancakes. These are hyper nourishment pancakes. Hyper nourishment means getting in as many nourishment and as many nutrients in the same food as you can. So into one dish, say for example, Dr. Brooke Goldner, she makes her hyper nourishment smoothies where she will cram and stuff the blender or whatever she's using to mix up her smoothie, because I do have a food processor here that I'm going to show you how to add hyper nourishment with. So she will cram it full of greens and all these other vegetables, right? And so this way, let's say if you're like Bravo with Sheila Network, you're like, I'm cute in the face, I'm slim in the waist, I'm trying to stay young because I got my 500 subscribers. I missed you last night, Bravo with Sheila. I was hanging out with Dr. Neil Bernard, you know, I'm a certified Food for Life instructor. I was on the news with him the other day and he had an event last night. So I had to be there with the kids, but I'll be coming over to check you out. So uh, of course, Share With Love TV is definitely greeting you all because when we get into hypernourishment, let's just say you stuff that blender with as many greens as you can. And uh, that might be arugula, it might be kale, it might be spinach, whatever greens you like. Then you're going to put in three-fourths of the greens and then just enough fruit, like one fourth fruit. So pineapples, apples, grapes, you know, share with Love TV. She shows a lot of smoothies on her channels, a lot of cooking. So you can, if you're looking to figure out, let's say you're in Romania like Tati, how do I do that? You just do it. You put it all in there. You get as many nourishments as you can because every food that grows from the ground, they have different uh, vitamins. They have different minerals, like the things that, let's say if it's a tree, an apple, an orange, some of those foods that grow up off the ground, even peppers, they're going to have different nutrients than the ones. They're going to have more like vitamins A, C, E, and things like that. Whereas the ground things are going to have your potassium, your magnesium. They're going to be pulling those things right from the earth. Things like rutabagas, carrots, onions, root vegetables that are going to grow under the ground, right? So we do have one of our musicians here, DJ Is. Now, DJ Is, I'm not sure if you're a tofu person, but I was talking about the leftovers. So I often make these tofu tenders whenever I make, I'm going to put those right on my butcher block. So whenever I make these little pancakes, I make the tofu tenders as well. Because the pancakes, as you all know, they have carrots, they have nuts and seeds in them. They have uh, a plant milk, like an almond milk or a soy milk. So we're going to use these tofu tenders as part of our pinwheels. I've shown you all pinwheels before. Pinwheels are really fun and it's a great way to get your holiday, uh, make your holidays fun because it's a great appetizer. So this is something that you can serve on a plate. Uh, and I do have a plate, so I'll plate these up. Uh, this is something you can serve on a plate and I'm gonna get some color. Y'all see how this red cabbage is right down to the bottom? I can still get off a little bit of it. That's the nice thing about hypernourishment also is that, uh-oh, uh, excuse me, can I get an assistant to bring me a knife, please? Thank you. So I can still get a little bit off of that, which means this is going to give it some color. It's going to give it some nutrients. Uh, remember our cabbages, they have, I do have a green cabbage here as well but our cabbages and kale, broccoli, they're in that cruciferous vegetable family. So uh, yeah, you know what, Lash's Journey? See, we're all helping each other. She didn't, she's telling G. Albert that, hey, I didn't know that about the latency, how your live streams, you know, they broadcast differently and whatnot. Yep, they really do. So I've got some peppers here. Thank you so much. Um, I've got some peppers here. Here's a little orange pepper, and these are the small ones. So this is why this is good for pinwheels. This is good for parties. So a lot of you, whether you have a holiday party or whether you have a party at home where you just have visitors coming over for the holidays, you wanna make small foods, right? So this way, if you have a huge garden like the everyday life of an OCD is chick and you have all of these different colors and foods to choose from, you can really hyper nourish your friends with these simple pinwheels. I do have a carrot here as well. So now I've got a lot of color. I have a lot of nutrients. If any of you want to Google some of the health, uh, some of the nutritional benefits, you can just Google nutritional benefits of red cabbage, nutritional benefits of carrots, nutritional benefits of peppers. Google those. Somebody tell me in the comments, what are the nourishing uh, properties? Because we even have trash can waves in here saying hello. So he's here making pretzels. No, we are not making pretzels. <laughs> but I do have in this container, these are just some onions and I actually have seaweed in here. Yes, onions, lime juice, y'all. 
onions sitting in the lime juice because it makes them taste a little bit pickly. So that's where we're going to add our carrots. First, I'm just going to skin the outside and I am then going to shave a little bit into the uh, into the onions. You all be sure to put in hashtag help heroes. That way when we do our giveaway, you all will be ready. You'll be in the running for our faves 100 giveaway. She fires one yesterday and she fires is an amazing content creator. We've been friends for quite some time now. And so I appreciate the love trash can waves. Cause you know, we go way back with Kelly from trash from, uh, my vivid life. Now she's, she fires. She's a uh, gun toting. I mean, excuse me, firearm toting, just like you trash can waves. You're a big advocate and I've learned a lot from you on your channel as well. You know, and it's so funny trash can waves because everything that you talk about, oh my goodness, it's like we're twins. Cause I'm looking at your videos like, yep, for real though, they need to be worried about, you know, not this inclusivity for just everybody feeling good, but for the creeps that are looking under bathroom stalls that are kids and whatnot, right? So I'm using a vegetable peeler just to shave little pieces of this carrot because I'm going to put this into this cup with the onion so that way it can get nice and pickly. So you know, if you have a garden like G Mama grows hard in the garden, then you know that a lot of these foods uh, sometimes you can grow them from the grocery store. You can grow them indoors because G Mama Grows grows indoors and outdoors, right? So she's chatting it up with everybody, but she's also an amazing gardener. Now, here's what uh, Nikki is telling us. Thank you so much, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. Cabbage, especially red cabbage, seems to raise the levels of your beta carotene, lutein, and other heart protective antioxidants. Thank you for helping because I did ask you all, please Google the uh, health benefits of carrots red cabbage, green cabbage, and peppers, also onions, and give it to us, right? Because, you know, all of these all of these different foods, if you're also looking for ways to find out the answers, y'all know I got you. I've already done the research. You know we have those food games right on our channel. So I'm going to add these little shredded carrots, right? Right into the onions. And I'm going to just shake it up a little bit. And remember, the seaweed gives it a slight seafood flavor, but it also gives you that iodine and some other nutrients as well. Y'all can look up the flavor of seaweed because in these pinwheels, we're now going to have onions, seaweed, carrots, peppers, carrots, and cabbage. That's six things that you can add to your holidays, uh, to your holiday plates. So this way, you know, if you're having a holiday situation, um, where it's a party at work or a party at home and you're adding carrots. Nikki is telling us that carrots, healthy vision, that they balance your blood sugar. They help uh, with weight management. They lower your risk of cancer. Y'all see what I'm saying? I keep telling y'all everything that grows from the ground, there are so many different nutrients in it. And this is why I tell you all, no matter what you're eating, just get your faves in, add your fruits and vegetables, every single spread. Every time you eat, add these things because this also regulates blood pressure, reduces heart disease, uh, improves immunity and boosts your brain health. Y'all know I'm a nurse and G Mama Grows Hard in the Garden is also a nurse. Uh, oh, thank you so much for putting in hashtag Health Heroes Bravo with Sheila Net, uh, Network. G Mama Grows is also a nurse. And so when I tell you the nurses are, we're like the last ones to know. We'll be taking care of people that have contagious and infectious diseases. So we really have to keep our immune system up. You know, during that time when everybody was concerned about touching stuff and was concerned about what they're exposed to, let me tell you, there's something called reverse isolation. That's where once you find out that somebody has a contagious disease like airborne or whatever, maybe let's just say if it's um, not just pneumonia, but uh, something like TB or something strong or whatever, MRSA or what have you, then that's where they'll say, oh, we've got them on reverse isolation. Well, nurses like me and G Mama Grows, we've already been taking care of these people. So now while everybody's gowning up and looking like a spaceman going into the room to care for the person, we've already been exposed. We need those carrots that give that boost our immunity and all of these different nutritious vegetables to help us to survive, right? This is why the nurses make it to work. And no matter what, we just keep on pushing. And even for those people that don't have the best diets, actually constant exposure, your body will build up those immunities and those antibodies against things. But you want to be like David Hunt, right? 
hey, 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 just keep doing it. I'm also putting in here, y'all, these little orange peppers. I'm gonna put in a yellow one as well. Y'all keep giving me some of the nutrients that this food has because so far, uh, the everyday life of an OCD chick might just win, all right? She might just win. And y'all know what? We have something special for y'all today because if you're putting in hashtag health heroes, then you are going to not only win our faves 100 status, like your automatic status, but you will also win a copy of our first book, right? Now, I do have some copies coming that I'll be able to show you all next week of one of our free eBooks. Remember that is available right on the site, but we do have other ones. Thank you, Gialba, for putting in hashtag health heroes. We do have a paid one, this, the pasta one. So this way, G Mama Grows is in the running. Let me tell you all, in addition to David Hunt being in the running, let me tell you all, thank you, David Hunt says, this is some good stuff. Thank you all for putting in hashtag health heroes and good to see you. So uh, glad you're here, Anania. Let me tell you all what the onions do. Well, let Nikki tell you because the everyday life of an OCD is chick. Child, if I could rig it up for you so you could win today, I would. Um, she says onions are high in vitamin C. Yep. And y'all thought it was just those citrus vegetables. Yes. Onions are high in vitamin C, which may help regulate your immune health collagen production and iron absorption. So, you know, when I was on the news station at the news station, remember yesterday I was telling y'all that little 30 year old was talking to me saying, I thought you were my age when I told him I'll be 50 soon. And I'm like, baby, this is, this is how we do it. You know, when you eat the best foods, that collagen production keeps you tight and right. The melanin, the melanin definitely helps too. If you are a melanated person, melanin is a conductor. Uh, there's a whole lot of good things that happen with melanin. Can y'all see this? Let me make sure y'all can see what I'm cooking because this is a hyper nourishment pinwheel that we're making. And I'm chopping off what little I can get off of this purple cabbage. But remember, you want to use your food right down to the core, right down to the end of what you can use it for because all of these parts have some nutrients. Now that I see the core, I'm not going to take that part because it's bitter. So I'll just chop around that. And I'm going to put all of these things in here because remember, we're making some pinwheels, a super simple food. And this is what you can do for your holidays to make them super special. Now, G Mama Grows Hard in the Garden is saying, I had a change of clothes in my truck at all times. I wasn't bringing that ish home. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, when you are a nurse, the stuff you you might bring home is crazy because you, like you said you don't even know they don't tell you till after you've been exposed right so you always have to hyper nourish to be sure that you are you are staying ready so you don't have to get ready that's the way to do it so i've got my purple cabbage chopped up and the nice thing about cabbage is the more you chop it the the more you have right so this way you can definitely get yourself together. Nikki, I'm like you. I stay eating onions also. That's why your immune system is pretty good, right? Absolutely. You know, onions and garlic, those are sort of like antibiotics. You know, onions, you can put those under your bed if you're sick. If you have a respiratory issue, uh, put that under the person who's sick bed. Put it as close to them as you can. Put it on the nightstand if you'd like. It will absorb toxins in the air so that the next morning you will see the onion kind of blackened a little bit where it has absorbed some of those toxins. You know, they say put the onions on your feet. You can just put them in the space near the person with that respiratory issue. And that helps as well. So I'm going to put all of this red cabbage into this cup with my onions and my peppers and my carrots. You know, I already had the iodine and the seaweed in there. So this way, folks like Danique Anthony, who are in the running for the faves 100 because he's put in hashtag health heroes. Good to see you, Danique Anthony. Danique, the video editing freak is here. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm gonna shake this up because this is just simple, a simple cup that I use for drinking, but it has a lid. So I'm just gonna cover the hole on top, shake it up a little bit. Thank you, David Hunt, for mentioning the coffee because this is one of the coffee cups I use. Not this one, I usually use a green one. Oh no, I do use a silver one. And I just put a straw in it. But uh, y'all know we're powered by Roll Java, right? So of course, uh, that means the coffee that we drink is Roll Java. That's the coffee right here behind me. Rolljava.com is how you would get to that. However, if you would like to support this production, by all means, go right there to Superfood Parents uh, scrolling 
at the bottom of the screen. And then you simply uh, scroll right down until you see join the health heroes. And there it says, buy me a coffee. You all know that this particular production, it is partly powered by not just sponsors, but also by you. So that means that if you're watching right now, we appreciate you being here. And that is also part of the sponsorship. We do appreciate your patronage. That does make a difference. Now there's a little green coffee cup in the corner though. So when you click the green coffee cup, it opens a widget and that means you can purchase one coffee, three coffee or five coffees. Leave your name, say something nice. I'm gonna put 25, uh, wait, I'm gonna put 50 cause I'll be 50 soon. So if you were to buy 50 coffees, it shows how you're supporting the production. It also shows you some of the other people who have purchased coffees and that's the way that support works. So thank you, David Hunt, so much for that reminder. All right, y'all, we're getting ready for the faves 100 giveaway so that means whoever wins not only do you get a status but you also you get a superhero status but you also get a copy of our first book that's coming out our pasta recipe book now of course there are meal plans in there there's grocery lists there's swapping things that you can swap out so if you're trying to figure out if i like cheese how do i use non-dairy cheese because on these pinwheels today I'm going to be putting this chow cheese, okay? And that's a non-dairy cheese that you can find anywhere. Um, it's at Walmart, it's all, all these different places. So I have a, a question from, and, and this is from Ananiya, right? She's asking, uh, superfood parents, can your skin get better if you start eating better, if you've been eating poorly? Absolutely, your body is always healing. Uh, everything rejuvenates, right? And so that's the nice part about being a healthy person, or super super healthy person, your body is always in position to heal. So you think about this, if we're eating poorly and we're living poorly, let's say you drink a, a shot of um, rum every night, right? No, no, what do I drink? Honey whiskey. Let's just say you drink American honey whiskey every night. I don't drink it every night anymore, but let's just say you drink American honey every single night and you eat French fries, which are fried. Anything fried is not gonna be good for you. So even if it's fried mushrooms, don't do it. Uh, let's say you also have friends who are always talking about how they hate work and at your job, you don't like the customers. Now, the miracle is that you can still wake up every day. You can still function even in the midst of all of those negative elements. Why? Because your body is always healing. Your body is a machine. Your body is fearfully and wonderfully made. So, you know, there's one document that says that there's other documents that say it a different way, the way we've been made. The whole point is that it's true. It's real. When you're made this way, you know, things like onions, they are powerful. They really help you like you mama grows in the garden, grows hard in the garden said. So no matter what you're eating, they will really help you all. Now, G. Albert is saying he missed seeing Ania this morning. Oh, you know what? I got to get there, too, in the morning. G., uh, G. Albert, I always forget. I just go to David Hunt on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And then I always forget because on the shucks, every morning I'm busy at 6, believe it or not. But thank you, David Hunt, for putting in rolljava.com. And hey, <laughs> thank you so much to everyday life of an OCD chick and onion by your bedside. Cool. She is dropping super chats for that knowledge. I appreciate it. Y'all, we got to help ourselves. We have to uh, res preserve our own lives, keep ourselves healthy. Y'all, I'm just using the flowers for Tia. This is just a store-bought one. You can get ones that are not, um, that don't contain hydrogenated, uh, hydrogenated oils. You can get ones that are sprouted, ones that are more natural. Do you. Just get something flexible, okay? Thank you so much, the everyday life of an OCD chick. Nikki, I appreciate the super chat. Um, I'm supposed to have a, I used to have some coins I could drop. I'm supposed to have something good. I guess I just got to drop it. You're just, you're back just in time, Bravo with Sheila, because I got to drop it five times for this super chat that just came in from the everyday life of an OCD chick. Um, child, I know we're always listening in, in the background, right? So come on back in, make sure you have hashtag health heroes in there. Y'all count for me. I need some music for this uh, dropping, please. Y'all, this is part of the surprise. Remember I told y'all we've got a surprise here. So we've got some extra music to help us out today. And let's get the music going. Come on, focus so we can hear it. Like, come over here so we can hear it to the mother. All right. So, whew, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Oh, let's get ready. 
Mm, let's get ready because we got to go down five times but we got to wait for the music y'all y'all know i can do this all day long i'm the nurse with the knees and what happens is once we get some music going you got a song you can play i'm gonna shake this up while i'm waiting for the music this is what happens when you don't have a music video you just gotta go prompt impromptu and you gotta do your own thing you gotta show the gratitude because y'all know i appreciate every last one of you can you play it loudly Y'all know my children play violin, harp, and piano. So we have a harp here that you're listening to. Can y'all hear the harp? If you can hear the harp, give us a thumbs up or a music note to let us know that you can hear the harp. Ah, oh, you love surprises. Ah, ooh. If you rub sliced tomatoes on your face, it'll clear it up too. Thank you, G Mama Grows Hard in the Garden. Thumbs up or music notes. If music notes, if y'all can hear the music, yes, child. Good knees come from good food. Your knees popping just look just just watching, huh? G Mama grows. All right, so let's see what we can hear. Hmm. Ha ha. G Albert, I'm gonna go rewatch David as well. Talented young people, I'm telling you, these girls are amazing. Okay, so I see some music notes. Y'all can hear the music. Thank you, Ananiya. Thank you, G Mama Crows. Keep going, Coco. Where's Christiana? She should be helping you out with something. I guess I gotta go slow. And y'all know that when you go slow, it's even harder. Child, it's slowing down. It's slowing down even more. <laughs> Wait, did I drop it five times? Was anybody clapping? I mean, was anybody counting? One, two, three, four, five. Let's finish it up with a body roll. Body roll. Hey, that's kind of fun. Body roll all the way down. And let me tell y'all something. Give the, give the baby a hand clap. Give the baby a hand clap, y'all. She is doing her thing. That was fun. Y'all, go to my Amazon store. That's a lot of fun as well. I'm going to run the giveaway and then we'll roll up the pinwheels because this is super simple. Now, keep in mind that, hey, they heard it. They they said that was beautiful, Coco. Share with Love TV was telling me, you go. <laughs> Child, all the exercising you do, I learned from you. Trust and believe. Yes, y'all hear it. And you know what? When this is part of your life, you don't really get out of breath. Also, when you perform a lot, you learn how to control your breathing because yeah, you get a little bit out of breath, but hey, thank you. Y'all count it, y'all count it. Yes, and I made it to five a few times. Thank you, Tati. Hey, 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 Ananiya is clapping. So a good way to teach you how to not get out of breath is to take very deep breaths and let it out in a controlled fashion. So take a deep breath and as you're talking it comes out but for some reason that huge breath it hyper not just hyper nourishes but hyper oxygenates your lungs so you're not like oh good david hunt has hashtag health heroes i think it's time for us to do our faves hero giveaway let's go for it if you all have already put in hashtag health heroes we'll see let me share this one, put it on the screen so you can see it. And this way, y'all know it's not rigged, even though I want the everyday life of an OCD chick to win. Let's go for it. Who will be today's health hero? The everyday life of an OCD chick. I need G Mama Crows hard in the garden. David Hunt, G Albert, the everyday life of an OCD chick. G Mama Crows, D G Albert, Unique Anthony, David Hunt. Anemia! Winner, winner, winner! Chicken dinner! Chickenless dinner! <laughs> Girl, that's what I'm talking about. You are a winner. Y'all, You, Anemia was a winner before she won this, but she is now a plant-powered titan. That means that she has honorary status as... I'll show you. I'll just show you because Tati is saying congrats. G-Mama grows hard in the garden as well as Sharina. Hey, they're all saying congrats. Y'all, I don't wanna give people's idea away. I'm just going to say Sharina Mendoza is an amazing 
marketing coach. Jarena Mendoza knows that this thing is not rigged, David Hunt, okay? I know that I've been missing these for a reason. It's still rigged. You know what? That's why I'm gonna put some okra in this. We're gonna hyper nourish, nourish this. Sharina Mendoza has young children, but she's an amazing marketing coach. She makes a full living and she's helping me do that as well, just by uh, doing your digital content. So she makes a full living doing that. The amazing MNG is coming in from Jamaica. Hey there, the amazing MNG. So good to have you here. Share with Love TV is saying good job. And Ane Nia is saying, wow. I would like to thank Superfood Parents for saying my name, the volume button, and the sprinkles. <laughs> Bravo, Sheila tried to get in there, but I thought you were already in there. I think you were in the running. All right, y'all. This is, I know, she wins a lot. It, it's like a setup, right? But I didn't set it up. That's just the way it goes. So let's get on to rolling up these pinwheels. Of course, we're talking about hyper nourishment today. So we've got a lot of things in these pinwheels and this is going to make for a delicious holiday. One of the other tips that I do have is, y'all see these little mugs? We got these when we were in New Orleans. So you see how that says New Orleans? When you go out of town, I was on a Christmas trip, right? And I got my children these mugs. I have three children. So we had two of the same and then one that was different. But we always buy practical things. Like a lot of times I'll buy a towel, I'll buy a mug, and we eat out of these. So like this morning, they had their outstanding oats in a mug. So it's a very fun way to not just have hot cocoa or what have you, but y'all know with my outstanding oats, they have a lot of things in them. We love you too, the amazing MNG. So good to have you here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. So let's get back to our last holiday trick while we roll up this pinwheel, because I'm going to show you how we do this. I'm just going to grab a spoon and this is going to come together super simply, quite easily, really fast. I'm going to take a spoon and scoop out some of the contents here. I have to mix them up to make sure that they're really mixed. Remember, this makes for a fun holiday. And remember I said small foods are the hat. So another thing is to use clear dishes, use transparent things and cute things, small things. So let's just say, for example, hey, it's Whitney is a small person, right? She's naturally small. The child, you would never know she had some children, right? She looks like a teenager, she's young and all of those things. But hey, it's, it's Whitney is saying hey to everybody. And this little container is small and cute, just like it's Whitney. So in here, I have these little no-bake brownie bites. I have the recipe on the channel. I think you all have seen these before where I make these. These are hyper nourishment bites. In here, there's sun butter. I've done a whole video on sun butter and the nurse, the nutrients in sun butter, how beneficial it is for you. But then there's also oats and I use organic oats because I don't like to take a risk on the pesticide. So there's oats, there's dates, which is a natural sugar. Dates are like uh, nature's candy. It's a fruit that grows, it dries up and it comes off the tree already sweet. And it also, um, in here, there's oats, dates, sun butter, cacao powder. I don't have my cacao powder package, but that's the one that has even more antioxidants than blueberries, cacao powder does. So this is another way that you can hypernourish things and you make it cute so people want to eat it. You put it in a very cute container. So this way, everything's perfect. Thank you so much. You know, G Mama Grow says those are cute mugs. She used to enjoy New York shopping. Yes, any city that you go to, a lot of times you can get your name, you can find your name on these. My children's names were not found, so that's why we got just the ones that repped New Orleans. And it's also a way for you to remember where you've gone. So I'm gonna get back to love and happiness through the food. Thank you for sending that love and happiness, the amazing MNG. I do appreciate it. And thank you for the love as well. It's Whitney. I appreciate you. Hey, it's Whitney. Are you Kenyan? I forget what country you no, Jamaican. You are from Jamaica. That's it. You and Lash's Journey are from Jamaica. So I'm going to show you all some of the colors right here under this camera. I do have my food cam. We are done with the show because I'm about to finish up by showing you how to put together this super simple pinwheel. Is this camera even working? What? Is, what? Hold up. Y'all. Okay, we're not going to show you on that camera. That camera is frozen. <laughs> And usually it's the steam that makes that camera frozen. So I'll just show you here uh, on camera some of the colors. As you all see from all the different things we put in there, all those colors are there. So all you do, and these help to make this 
um, moist enough so that when you're eating it, it's not dry. You don't want that, right? You don't want it to be like, Lord, we choking this down. Remember your fruits and vegetables, they have a lot of water in them. So that's going to help it taste really moist and juicy while you're eating it. It'll help you to easily enjoy it. And you're going to just spread this out kind of to the ends and you're going to spread it out so that you leave that last edge empty. So that way, when you roll it up, that last edge will be empty and it'll be able to close and you'll be able to cut it. Okay. So there's very little juice here because I don't want this to break when I fold it. Then I just add in my air fried tofu. So I told you these are like tofu tenders. That means if you all are using a different protein, you can put these in here as well. Because for people like Gina versus Gina, if you're frugal like her and you're making sure that every penny works more than once, yes, then you're like, yeah, let me make sure uh, whatever I have, I stretch it, right? I use it to the max. So, so glad to have you here, Gina versus Gina. Thanks for being here. Uh, finishing up on these delicious holidays, I also, I do like a little bit of fat. Uh, so I'm going to add these. Now this says spicy original, spicy original. So this is going to give it another layer of flavor. It's like a pepper jack. Even though this is non-dairy cheese, it's wiggly like cheese. And as you can see, it has those pepper jack flecks in it. And it actually has a great flavor. It does taste like the pepper jack I remember when I was eating um, cheese from, you know, just the cows and goats and sheep because I ate all the different cheeses, trust and believe. I was always trying to find ways to hypernourish my family. And back then I was getting information that animal products was the way. So then you're just gonna roll this up. If you've ever rolled anything up, you know that you simply press and squeeze. Let me see if this camera is working yet. No, it's not for some reason. Nobody called me and I'm moving in real life, but I don't see myself moving over here. I don't know. So we're just gonna roll this up and you just press it and roll it tight. Um, if you've ever rolled a cigar, my husband used to smoke cigars and uh, that we would go to the cigar shop and they would talk about, you know, rolling. They would sometimes roll them for you. So this first one is always a little bit messy. Can somebody come and taste this please? All right, come here, I'm, it's, it's falling apart, so I'm just going to put this piece in your mouth, okay? You hear me? And you can tell me if it needs something because I didn't add any additional seasoning, I just added the, um, uh oh, why your face look like that? What does it need? It's dry. it's dry? You know, I usually use mayonnaise and I just said the vegetables make it, uh, it needs more vegetables, y'all hear that? And then she eats a spoonful of vegetables, so. You might have to add more vegetables. Tati, let me tell you what's cool. Children eating vegetables by the spoonful out of a cup. All right. So once you added those vegetables, was it still dry? It was better. So I'll add more vegetables to the next ones, the next set that I make then. Wow. So y'all hear that. You can test them. Your first set, you might want to make it so it's um, with a little bit of vegetables. The next one you might want to add. Or you might just want to make a make us make it with a small, a uh, small wrap, so that way you can test it with one that's smaller. Y'all, double dipping when this your family, you know this is another way that I found to make holidays really festive. You know, using platters where everyone has to pick their things up with toothpicks um, or tongs. That's another way to make the holidays fun. A lot of times, I will have a community plate. So that way people can grab what they want from there, even if they're using tongs. That always makes things more festive. And another thing that it does, y'all, it helps us to share because thank you so much, Gina versus Gina is saying that is cool. I'm going to pretend like you're saying sharing bacteria is cool. <laughs> even though I know that's what, not what you're talking about, because most of you are not excited about sharing bacteria. I am. I told y'all I love sharing bacteria because then I get stronger. My immune system works better and boom. I'm healthy. Let me show you what this plate is looking like. I think we're ready for the super uh, clap sign off. Thank you, G Mama Grows. She's saying this is nice. As you all see, that looks so pretty and so festive. And how many points did we say this was? How many, uh, we said we get five points for every fruit or vegetable, right? 
because if you're a superfood parent like Anania, she does have the status of being a plant-powered titan. That means she automatically has 80 points or more for the day. Um, if I think this particular dish right here is getting us very close to being a superfood Avenger with 65 points, and at least it's getting us to 50 points. Thank you so much for saying this is looking very delicious. I appreciate that, Nikki, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. It's colorful, it's festive, it's a perfect holiday dish, and it's a bite-sized food so that with every bite, people are getting in onions, green cabbage, carrots, the seaweed, they're getting in the, did I say the peppers? And there was one more because I think we had six different fruits and vegetables in here. You know, the peppers are fruits. So that's 30 points, six times five, 30 points just in one dish. Y'all, when your kids come through double dipping, right? Because it's cool with your family, right? You should definitely share germs with them until the girls start getting boyfriends and the boys start getting girlfriends. You don't know their family. But the whole point is that we've done a great job today. We've satisfied the kids. They even had a spoonful of vegetables. And so, y'all, it's time for our super clap sign off. That means the food is so good, we can clap it up and enjoy the day. Now, y'all, don't forget to subscribe to Anania because she won today's uh, Spaves 100 giveaway. Gina versus Gina, earlier we did have a, um, I think you might have been here. You might have been looking and lurking. We did have a super chat. So for the super chat, for the super clap sign off, um, we might as well drop it a little bit more. I'm going to put on our clap music so that way I can dance a little bit. And you know, y'all know I love to drop it. I'm the nurse with the knees. My knees don't get tired and yours won't either. When you get your uh, faves in, fruits and vegetables every spread. So let's see if I can keep up with this music. I'm going to crank it up a little bit more. Tell me if it's too loud. If it's okay, just give me a thumbs up. If the volume is fine. And of course, you can clap right along with us, just like G Mama Grows is clapping right along with us. Mm. Hey. I gotta do it five times because I got five dollars, right? Y'all know I don't have good sense. I ain't got it. I don't have good sense. But hey, thank you all. I appreciate it. That canvas line is some videography. Your mama grows. Thank you. Y'all drop it. Your knees might be better than you think. So Gina first, Gina, clap it up. And Tech Amethyst, yes, ma'am. I got to get it. I got to get it. Hey, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for being here. I hope your holidays turn out to be delicious and nutritious. And don't forget, be a health hero for your loved ones. Take care, everybody. Hey. Oh, thanks for coming out of the bushes, Urban. We got another Jamaican. I guess I'm an island girl today. So David Hunt was from Trinidad. Thank you, guys. Mm, mm. Take care. <laughs>